Hey there. <laughs> right, first thing I've got to do is to apologise. My video, my last video, was shocking. I watched it back uh, with a bit of a critical eye and I realised two things. One, it was long, too long. And another was, I sounded miserable all the time. And I think the reason was, well, I know the reason was, was because I was trying to be discreet because there were so many dog walkers around me. And I was trying to talk quietly. But I sounded miserable. So I've got to apologise about that. Today, um, I'm back down my little urban stream. I've got my little six foot rod again with me. But I've not got the chest mount. And the reason being is because when I've snuck down the river, my other half has gone shopping. I'm on the uh, dog sitting watch. But to be honest, our little buddy, our Labrador retriever, he's just sleeping. He's 13 weeks old, he's just sleeping. And I did think about bringing him down the river, but I know he'll probably come down here tonight when we do a walk. So rather than wear him out, I thought I'll sneak down here myself, throw a, a fly or two, and just see what happens. The conditions should be perfect. I'm not going to fish the whole stretch. I'm just going to jump in and out where I've got easy access. I've only got my wellies on, not my waders. All I want to do is try a few of the little spots I know which contain fish and just whoa <laughs> and just try and tickle a few out. <laughs> Another thing I need to explain um, I've done my back in. I was at the chiropractor um, a couple of days ago. My back went completely, dropped me to my knees, lost all my strength in my back. It happens every couple of years. And after having my back cracked again, which I love hearing, it makes my back so much better. After he cracked my back, one thing he said was walking. Now I do do a lot of walking, but he said, go out and do some walking. Now, I'm not sure whether he meant to bring a fishing rod, but it's a good excuse. So I'm walking on doctor's advice. Right, so I'm going to walk down to the bottom of the uh, little stretch and hopefully there should be some decent footage because everything's going to be on the tripod today. As I say, there's no chest mount. I'm just going to be... I'm going to keep away from the river just so I don't spook any fish. Yeah, so hopefully everything's going to be on the tripod. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. Doing my back, the wheel would have good. Oh, a good old walk. So, there's the road still running parallel to the little stream or river as it officially is. Just looking for some spots I can easily access, just jump down. No, I can't easily access because I'm not in my waders. 
That'll be a lovely pool. But you can see how high the bank is. Well, I have caught fish out there previously. This is another lovely little pool. But again, I'm not going down there because I'm only in my wellies. But it's very, very sandy. And while I might be uh, a little bit daft, I'm not crazy enough to destroy my back trying to get down there. How about here though? I reckon we could just we get down there. Possibly not. It's okay, we've got plenty of stream to go. This is hard because I'm walking past areas. Wow, that hurt. I'm walking past areas I know which hold fish, but because I've got a, a pretty bad back and also I've got limited time. I can't fish every little spot I normally do. And I know the reward is, is upstream. That's where uh, my favorite area is and the most accessible area for somebody who my uh, pain is. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna keep telling myself, I'm telling, saying the same thing to you guys, but it's because I'm telling myself, I've got to ignore some of these spots it would take too much time and the access is too tricky so i'll just keep looking at the stream just seeing where the bank isn't too high because although i can cast down to the fish i don't want to be swinging a fish in on the line i want to look after the fish minimal handling <clears throat> it is catch and release these are true wild brown trout. This is really annoying. I'm 45 and I'm used to being able to physically do exactly what I want when I want to do it. And just there, there was a lovely little spot. The jump down from the bank to the stream was about 18 inches, which I could get up again, but to jump down, it would have been such a jar on my back. I couldn't do it. That's a shame because then I could have done this little pool here. Oh, there's another kingfisher just gone straight upstream. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. That right, bank's too high here. Oh, my back is aching, but walking will help it. It aches a lot more when I sit down. Random engine that's been dumped in the stream. No, I can't get that one out, but I don't know where that came from. It's rusted up and it just appeared uh, yesterday evening when I walked the dog. I found it or saw it. Very strange. you guys pointing in the wrong di direction anyway. Oh. Right, excuse the old man groans. <laughs> it shouldn't take long for the back to get sorted. Uh, just a, a week or so. It only happened on... Uh, it was Monday it went. I saw my chiropractor Tuesday. So... It should only take a week to, to mend, and then when it does, that's it, I'm back again. Right. Today I'm going to try not to spoil it.
So yeah, there's fishes, a couple of spots now and then we, we're done really. Take this spot before the dogs do. Hope the owners take the uh, get the hint.
Hey guys. Right, we're done. It's supposed to be a short film, a short little trip to the river. But as always, I couldn't, I, I don't know when to stop. I don't know when enough is enough when it comes to uh, fishing. I'm rubbish at this uh, self control. I'm hoping the audio is good. I've got no faith in it whatsoever. But my back feels better. <laughs> Apart from when I keep sliding on the mud and where it well is. I keep sliding and yeah, that hurts. Ah, that step down hurt. But yeah, the back's getting better. But yeah, lovely little trip. I've got to get back to feed Buddy. He'll be gnawing his own paws off, bless him. Beautiful, beautiful day. So, six foot rod, still love it, absolutely love it. The fly line I've got, I don't know how it would work with other, uh, so it's a three weight six foot rod. I don't know how it would work with other three weight uh, lines, but my line, it's a micro thin line. I've got to check the dimensions. I'm not technical when it comes to lines. I'm not technical when it comes to any of my kit. I don't think you need good kit to catch fish. The only time you're gonna need decent, expensive fishing tackle for any forms of fishing is if you're pushing yourself to the, the limits as far as the environment. So if you're fishing on a river and it's a big river or it's a chalk stream, crystal clear chalk stream where they see fishermen every day and multiple fishermen in a day fishing at sea you, know, you need heavy kit if you can't fish in an extreme range all of these sort of examples you need the kit to help you but if you're just doing this you've come to a local stream a 39.99 rod a reel your line a bit of a leader field leader which Chris gave to me, but you can buy them online or you can make your own if you watch YouTube. The fly, you can buy those on Flea Bay. You can buy them from lots of online sellers like Barbless Flies or Trout Flies UK. Or you may have a friend, someone you know. Thank you, Richard. The tie flies for you. But this doesn't need to be an expensive hobby. You don't need to spend a lot of money doing, uh, doing it. And what it does give you is mindfulness. That's the word nowadays. Coming out, it's what we used to call chilling out, getting away from it all, a bit of peace and quiet. It's now labeled mindfulness. But it's chilling out, isn't it? It's just relaxing, finding your own little bit of space in this very hectic world. 